Welcome everyone to another episode in the Perspective Drawing series. In this one, we will be taking a look at what you can do when the vanishing points are off the page. So there's likely been many times when you are drawing where your vanishing points are so far off the page that you can have a hard time estimating where to direct your lines. Fortunately, there is a more practical solution as opposed to taking a 2 metre ruler or extending your drawing surface, and that is called the Brewer Method. It's something that I had learnt in Scott Robertson's How to Draw book, and in this video we are going to be looking at how we can put it to use when drawing. So the Brewer method allows us to construct a grid in perspective to assist you when drawing. So firstly, we need to start by establishing the necessary lines for a grid. I begin with a vertical line, think of this as the corner of a box. I then draw two lines that converge towards the right, and these would eventually meet on the horizon line. How much these lines should converge really depends on what you are drawing. I also draw a line from the bottom of that vertical line towards the left vanishing point, which is also off the page, but we know it would be on the horizon line. So now it comes to a point where I need to add another line at the top heading to that left vanishing point, but I don't know where that is, so what can I do? Well, here I have a smaller version of what I have just created. If I extend these lines until they meet, it will give me the right vanishing point, and we know that the vanishing points are placed on the horizon line, so now I am able to establish the position of the horizon line. Then if I extend this line to the left, it would eventually meet the horizon line, and that is my left vanishing point. I could then continue to build the grid, but unfortunately, as I am drawing at this scale, these vanishing points are way off the page. I need to somehow draw a line from the top of this vertical line to that left vanishing point. So what I am going to do is I'm going to draw another vertical line to the right, parallel to the other one, and I will place these as far apart as possible. Next, I am going to draw a rectangle by taking a line from the bottom of this across until it meets the line heading to the left vanishing point. I can also take a line from the top of that vertical line on the right and then finish this rectangle. So now I can draw a line from the top of the first vertical line through this new point we had just made by drawing the rectangle and extend this to what would be the left vanishing point. So now I simply divide these vertical lines up by continuously halving them until I am happy with the number of divisions that I have. I then can start to draw a line from each of these divisions, extending them further to construct a grid that I am happy with. This can then be used to draw in perspective. So let's run through this one more time and I will create a drawing as an example. I begin by establishing the grid, repeating what I had done previously. For this example, I have the two right converging lines directed inwards, so I know that my horizon line will be positioned somewhere around the middle. Now before you set out establishing a grid, it can help to have an idea of what you want to draw and how you want your image to appear. You are able to create different views by altering the convergence of your lines. Here I am constructing a drawing, using this grid to guide the direction of my lines in perspective. You could also use the grid as an underlay and place your drawing surface over the grid so that it isn't on the final drawing, but overall it's a convenient method that I often put to use. If you want to see this example being drawn in real time, then be sure to check out the Patreon page because I will be putting the footage over on there.
So this episode is coming to an end and I hope you found this useful, if you did then please leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on to stay up to date. Also if you want to take your studies further then be sure to check out the Patreon page for study documents on perspective and more. With that being said, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.